The Velstow Monthly has been sold and is to close down. Fiona's forlorn, Ray's a wreck, and Norman's nervous. What will become of them? Read on. Cheer up, Fifi. We did our best. Yeah, but it wasn't good enough, was it? Yeah, well, we never stood a chance. Our supplement never even hit the streets. Look at it, sitting there, all our hard work, and no one's even going to get the chance to read it. It's just not fair. If only the paper could have stayed open a bit longer, I'm sure everything would have been all right. Well, we'll never know, will we? It's Mr Wallace I feel sorry for. I mean, it's all right for us. We're young, we can always find something else. But at his time of life, it's not going to be easy. You make him sound like a pensioner. He's not that old, you know. No, he's not a day over 50. <laughs> I heard that, Raymond. <clears throat> Hello, Norm. It was just a joke. Sorry. Well, okay. I didn't find it at all funny. And I'm not in the mood for that sort of thing at the moment. I'm feeling very tense. And a new owner is coming to make an inspection. And I want everything to be ship shape for him. Hey, uh, Norm, it's an office building, not a boat, you know. <laughs> I have warned you, I am not in the mood. Oh, Mr Wallace, you need relaxing. Just remember, every cloud has a silver lining. And it's always darkest before dawn. It's a long road that has no turning and... You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Thank you, Raymond. <laughs> Mr Wallace, I'm thinking a man in your position might be interested in something I've made for the supplement. <clears throat> I mean, for a, for a rising executive. Yes, well, I'm afraid I feel like a fallen executive. No, no, that's not the attitude. This is one in my line of executive toys. Watch. Come back. Hey, I like that. That's very good. Well, walk this way and I'll show you how to make it. I'm not too sure I can walk that way. and I'll show you how to make it. Mr Wallace? Norman? Oh, well, I'll show you on my practice box. Obviously, this one won't roll, but you'll get the idea. Now, the first thing I did was make two holes in each end of my tin. Now, when I did that, I used a hammer and a nail on that tin, so I was very careful. Next, I need two elastic bands. Norman? And four used matches. Here's a tricky bit. Stuff one end of the rubber band through the hole and secure it with one of the dead matchsticks. Like that. And then you do exactly the same with the other end. Through the hole and secure it with the matchstick. There you go. Now, I've got two elastic bands and four matchsticks. Oh, See? that's very good, Miss Cortina. Right. Armstrong, Sidley, and I haven't finished yet. Oh, sorry. Now, next thing I need is oh, a little weight, like a battery, tied up with a piece of string and a paper clip. Could you hold the box for me, please? Because I'm going to attach the paper clip between the two elastic bands. This bit is very fiddly, especially with your hand down a tin. That's why you need one that doesn't have sharp edges. Oh, you've done it very well. There you go. Now I'm going to attach my weight to the paper clip so that it's dangling from the edges. Oh, I do love that word, dangling. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now, the reason that tin works is that when you roll it away from you, the elastic band winds up. And as it unwinds, the tin comes back. Yeah, but this is square, they won't roll. Yeah, but it's exactly the same in that tin. I'll show you. Look, there you are. It's for you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I shall keep this. Because after today, I, I won't be an executive, but uh, at least I shall have my executive tin. Thank you. Oh, dear. He's taking it really badly. I wish I could think of a way of cheering him up. Look, don't worry about old Norm. He's bound to get a good amount of money in redundancy fees, and a bloke of his obvious... availability could soon be snapped up. I don't suppose there's a chance that the people who've bought the building could keep us on, is there? Doing what? Stirring up the glue? No, thank you. I'm going back to door-to-door -door selling. Yeah, I've got a new line here. Raise roses. They don't smell of anything, so they don't get up your noses. <laughs> Always available, never out of season. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, I'll make the rest up later. I'll show you how to do it if you like. Oh, yes, please. I thought you might. Here we go, then. You just take a napkin, right? Mm. You unfold it, and then replace the corners into the middle. Right. So you've got a square like that with all these triangles, OK? Then you do it again. Point to the middle. Point to the middle. Point to the middle. And what are you doing? I'm pointing to the middle. Get out of it. <laughs> right. And you lay it all flat like that and carefully turn it over. And you do exactly the same thing. Point to the... <laughs> you take the corner and you put it into the centre of the napkin. All right, then? And you do that four times. 
But I have to say, it doesn't look like a rose yet. Well, give it a chance, give it a chance. Here we are now. Keeping your fingers in the middle, you reach under one of the corners and lift the flap, which turns into a petal, you oh, see? Oh, that's really clever. Well, you flatter me. And you do it again. <laughs> All right, four times. Good, isn't it? Excellent. It's going to be better. Then you reach to the side, not the corner, and pull up the petal there. And there. And there. And there. Oh, it's lovely. There we are. And if you want to be, make it really clever, you pop a smaller one of a different colour in the middle, just like that. Great. Yeah, it was a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it was an idea I had for the supplement. But, um, but now uh, it's not going out. No one's going to know how to make it. And I stand to make a fortune. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sell them for 45 pence for six. Yeah, but how much do they cost you? A quid a dozen. Well, then you're not going to make a profit. Details, details. That doesn't matter. No, no, we can do better than that. With your showmanship, we could become household names. I can see it now. Fiona Armstrong, Sidley and Ray. No, no, hang about. I was thinking more along the lines of Ray, Ray and Fifi. Yeah, it does have a ring to it. Yeah. Um, but what will we do, singing? No, I'm hopeless at singing. Can you dance? Oh, no, I'm absolutely hopeless at dancing. Play any musical instruments? Yeah, I can play uh, God Save the Queen on the recorder. Well, I can hardly see us getting many bookings on the strength of that. No, there must be something we can do. Um, I've got it. We could be a ventriloquist act. Oh, how could we be a ventriloquist act? We haven't got a dummy. That is where my little mate here comes in handy. Oh, great. One of your old socks. We'll get on the telly with that. It is not one of my old socks. Well, it is. Of course it's one of my old socks. But I've transformed it. Look, I've put a bit of felt in there for the tongue, some split pins for eyes, and a little bit of felt for some hair. Yeah, well, he's good. But it's not as good as a real dummy. Well, all right, then. I'll be the ventriloquist and you be the dummy. Why do I have to be the dummy? Why can't you be the dummy? Because I'm the one who thought of it. Now, do you want to try it? Hello, boys and girls. It's my pleasure to Raymond, introduce Raymond, you to Raymond, what are you doing? I'm starting up the act. Well, why are you talking in that ridiculous way? Because ventriloquists aren't supposed to move their lips. Oh, that's only when you're talking for the dummy. Oh. Well, let me show you. Put on this cap. I'll draw a couple of lines down your face. One, two. Hmm. Right. You sit on my knee. When I scratch you, you, your back, you move your lips. OK? All right. I think I'm ready. Hello, boys and girls. Auntie Fiona here. I'd like to introduce you to my little friend, Bobby. Bobby? Yes, Bobby. Oh, well, that's no good, is it? Well, why not? You try saying that without moving your lips. Doggy. Doggy. Oh, all right. What's an easier name? Ray. Ray. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Hello, boys and girls. Look, never Aren't mind all good? that. Just get on with the act. All right. Wait to the boys and girls. I see you're wearing your school cap. Yes. And do you go to a nice school? Yes. And do you always eat your dinner? Yes. Do you even eat your greens? Yes. And what's your favourite subject? Oral English. Now, when do I get a chance to say something? Look, I'm just warming up, trying to get my confidence. Honestly. <clears throat> I think I'm ready now. Right. Oh, hello, Auntie Fiona. Uh, now's the time when you take a drink of water. Why? Well, it shows them what a good ventriloquist you are. Oh. Hello, Socky. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, well, I heard something was afoot, so I thought I'd come along. Something's afoot? What's afoot? About 12 inches. <laughs> Raymond, what's all this socky business? <laughs> he's the dummy's dummy. Well, if he's the dummy's dummy, what does that make me? The dummy's dummy's dummy. <laughs> what's that? The dummy's dummy's dummy. Dummy? <laughs> hey, 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 socky, socky. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come on, where'd you come from? Socky Hull. Hey, mummy, <laughs> hey, mummy. It's lucky he's not from Birmingham with a sore stomach, is it? Why's that? Well, then he'd be a brummy dummy with an upset tummy, mummy. <laughs> Raymond, time for Socky to go to bed now. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. Put a sock in it. I already have. Oh, lovely. I've lost me dummy. <laughs> now, uh, these are two oh. of my editorial team. Hello, Norm. Good look here. Good look here. Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to meeting them. You said that without moving your lips. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, Mr Pickles, the gentleman who just bought the building. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr Pickles. You. I'm Fiona. This is Raymond. Hello. I understand you're in glue. Oh, yes, my family have been in glue for years. So I suppose you could say you're stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you could say that. You've probably seen our advertisements. Whenever in a pickle you should get stuck up with pickles glue. 
It's rather good stuff. Hold your hand out. Have a go. Here you are. It's rather good. Here, have a go. Have a go. Oh, careful. It's really strong. Thank you very much, Mr. Mango. I mean, Mr. Chutney. Uh, well, this is or was the creative powerhouse of the whole thing. It's where the bright ideas came from. Bright ideas? Well, I didn't see any. It was a dreadful rag. I beg your pardon? Well, come along. You must admit it. We certainly do not. So I suppose there's absolutely no chance of you wanting to keep it going, then. Keep it going? I wouldn't even use it to wrap my chips in. I wouldn't even use it to wipe the dog dirt off my shoe. Mr Pickles, I find that most insulting. So do I, after all the hard work we put into that supplement. Supplement? What supplement? I was talking about the Billstone Monthly. That wouldn't even have made a bad annual. The Do It Supplement. What do you think of all that, Lottie? Scotch mist? Raymond, now there's no need to be so discourteous. I mean, Mr Pickled Eggs is a businessman. He's got his job to do. He's not interested in our supplement, right? <laughs> well, I'm sure. All right, yeah. He'd be interested if he saw. Now, just a minute. What is this supplement? What did you tell me about it's it? It's here. It's full of interesting things to make and do. You'll love it. Oh, this is lovely, yes. And it's in colour and it's got print. everything all right. Pages and printing and things. Do you mind if I have a quick browse through it? No, no, please do. I hope he likes it. I don't think he likes it. I know he doesn't like it. Look, will you stop all that think bubbling and listen? Well, I'm sorry to say, I like it. Oh, hey. it's jolly good. <laughs> it's much more fun than manufacturing glue. <laughs> you don't even have to boil up any old bones. Oh, well, it's very nice of you to say that, but I suppose it's all a bit academic now, and that lot over there will have to be pulped. Well, not necessarily. There, there is one thing, though. I did notice that there's not very much magic in it. Oh, no, we've never bothered with magic. No, no nobody's ever been interested in it. <laughs> I am. Oh, yes, so are most people, yes. Fiona, why didn't you put any magic in? Well, uh, I... Well, she, she doesn't know any. <laughs> Don't you all agree that magic is that most wonderful and marvellous thing? Oh, yes, I've, I've always said so, yes. <laughs> oh, you're interested in magic, then, are you, Mr Pickles? Oh, yes, 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 yes. You know, I'm a member of the, um... Magic Circle, you know. What, the Magic Circle? Yes. Oh, I don't suppose you would like to do some for us now, would you? I mean, it might cheer us up a bit. Oh, well, I've got my case. I don't see why not. Oh, oh. super! Yeah, super. <laughs> now, look, just you cheer up, young man. Or I might have to turn you into a fire bucket. <laughs> now, just, just sit on the edge of the desk there and watch it. Here we go. Now, has anybody got a newspaper? Oh, yes, I've got a copy of the Bellstone Monthly. Well, I was rather hoping for a newspaper. Oh, it's the Bellstone Monthly. <laughs> Never mind. I suppose it'll do. Now, I've got a riddle me read for you. What's the difference between Brussels sprouts and bogies? I don't know. What's the difference between Brussels sprouts and bogies? You can't get kids to eat Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry, I'm having a bit of trouble here. Now then, Norman, do you like milk? Oh, yes, I like evaporated. Good. Oh, good, good, good. Evaporated milk, is it you like? Oops, there we go. Here we go. Are you ready? One, two, oh. three! Look at that! It's oh. gone! <laughs> it's a sensation! <laughs> now, darling, will you just have a look at that for me? Would you just check it out for me? Yes, don't go mad, don't go mad. Thank you very much. Now then, oh, well, I don't need that. I'll just pop that over there. There we go. <laughs> right, now look, I've got a perspex tube there, you see, completely empty. I'm going to pop that there on two metal plates. Now, I'm just going to stab them through there, you see, like that, darling. There you go. Now, can you give me my dice back? There you go. Thank you kindly. And I'm going to drop that in there. Now, watch this, you see. Where's my magic wand? A little bit of magic on there. Oh, and look what happens! <laughs> it's a sensation through solid metal! And look, there it goes again! Oh, my God! It's a sensation. Now, then, has anybody got 10p? Raymond, have you got 10p for me? Just, or a couple, a couple of 10p. Two 10p. Yes, just a minute. Will you, look, you've got an egg in your ear. Oh, goodness <laughs> sakes. Go on round oh, here, will you? Come round here. Now then, give me those ten peas, if you would. All right, look. Ten, twenty. And, uh, Mr Pickles, I'd like it back, please. Yes, of mm -hmm. course. Now, could you check that glass over there for trapdoors and that sort of thing, if you would? No, it's fine to me. Good. Now, get that back here. Now then, I want you to watch very closely. I'm going to put those two tin peas on the edge of the desk. Come down nice and close. OK, now I'm going to put those there and put the glass over the top. That's the quickness of the hand deceives the eye. Watch closely. Look at this! It's gone through! Oh, it's a <laughs> That's very good! It's right up inside the glass. Fantastic. What do you think, eh? Yeah. Now, uh, could I have my money back, please? 
I tell you what, I'll swap your 20p for a fire bucket, eh? <laughs> He's got red in the face! <laughs> now then, I'm gonna do a trick with a hanky. Yeah. Um, no, will you go for one? One of me hankies is scared. Get back, get back. Stay in there, stay in there. This is the one, I'll do it with this oh, one. This now look, I've got gorgeous spots, you see, on both sides of my hanky. Now look what happens when I shake it. Look, look, look what happens. Look, and it's absolutely blank on both sides, you see. It's a sensation. And the, uh, the next bit's rather tricky. But look, if you swish oh. it down a bit, look, that thing come again. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Gertie, excuse me, Ray. That was truly magical. Oh, oh, that was fantastic. But I think we ought to get Ray back in off. I think he's looking a bit pale. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, hey, that was brilliant. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a 10p, a 20p back. There you go, young pence. man. I don't remember lending him 20 pence. <laughs> Listen, Mr Pickles, that was brilliant. Yes. Oh. We should have put some of that stuff in the supplement. Yeah, should, you should. How many of it does it take to put this together? Just me and Fifi. <clears throat> oh, and of course, sir, Mr Wallace, our editor and guiding light. Thank you, Fiona. <laughs> oh, look, why don't we just put this thing out by itself? What, just publish the supplement? Yes. Well, and, and not bother about the uh, Bellstone Monthly. Well, no one else has bothered about it for years. It's only fit for burning. No, this could be the phoenix rising from uh, the ashes, the uh, nirvana. Excuse me, excuse me, though, isn't a supplement, though, by nature, a supplement to something else? Well, yes, if it's successful, it could be a supplement to my income. <laughs> I would, of course, retain the editorial staff. Oh, uh, oh this is fantastic. <laughs> it's like waking up from a nightmare. You must be our fairy godmother. <laughs> I suppose the next thing you'll be telling us is that you're going to double our wages. <laughs> no. Nah. Oh, well, anyway, this is causes for a celebration. Right? Yay! <laughs> and, and, and first of all, first of all, I would just like to say a few words. Oh, <laughs> no. Fellow members of the press, as you know, we're on the brink of undeniable success. So let's all have a drink. What about some pink champagne? Oh, Ray, not pink champagne again. No, here's a drink that never fails. Some do it iceberg, twice as iceberg, lemonade, lemonade cocktails. This drink is dynamite. You take a plain egg white and dip a cocktail glass up to the rim. Then in the sugar bowl. Cool, what a rigmarole. Shut up, Ray. Don't listen to him. You have to crush some ice. And a banana's nice. When popped into the glass, it tastes divine. Some silver balls to show. You've got that inner glow. I think that inner glow you've got is mine. Whisk the rest of the egg white. And add some sugar soon as it's stiff. You'll know if you've done it right. Frankly, that's a very big if. <laughs> Release a large cascade of sparkling lemonade And watch the fruit mysteriously rise Define gravity It's all done magically We guarantee you won't believe your eyes This drink is hard to beat But wait, it's not complete You have to spoon the egg white on the top A few more silver balls Hey, my drink's very small Mine is far too big. All right, I'll swap. OK, now let's begin to drink this drink. Chin chin. Three cheers, the Do It supplement's been saved. Let's hope it's ages till we have to face the thrill of another of those Do It close shades.
The Do It Supplement is produced by TVS in association with B&Q. For your free copy, send an 18p stamp and your address to Norman, Ray and Fiona, P.O. Box 100, Maidstone, Kent.